This is James Helder for IFL TV. I'm at Blue Water Glow today for the Maxi Nutrition Final. With me, I've got the Maxi Nutrition Champion and British Champion, Bob Adjusser. What's happening, yes, Bob? Yes, James. All right. I'm All good, right. mate. Thanks. Right. First and foremost, talk me through the fight a little bit, please, sir. Yeah. Um, started off a bit rough and, rough and uh, rugged to begin with. Um, might come out trying to put it on me a bit. And I, and I felt the weight of him. In fact, he, he was heavy. You know what I mean? So, but I was just getting the range of him. And then a couple of rounds, after a couple of rounds, I started catching him. And then uh, once I caught him, clean a few times. I don't think he wanted to know after that. Clocks. And he was tearing out. But Clocks. you know what I mean? At the end of the day, I've got to give him credit because he came in at short notice. And yeah. I don't think he was fully fit. Yeah. You know what I mean? He might have been 50, 60% fit. So he come in at short notice and he, and, he, and he give it a go. You know what I mean? But if it, regardless, fit, whatever, if he was on weight or whatever, I would have still, it still been the same outcome. You know what I mean? uh, James? Got to give him his respect, as you said, for taking the fight and really saving the show, to be honest. Yeah, because, yeah he did. You know, there wasn't many options for the Yeah, he did. That's right it. Right. You know, we were, um, which I was pulling out at last minute. Yeah. No doubt you've had a lot of Travis fans tweeting, yeah? Uh, yeah, they're off. They're off. I was going to swear that. I would swear, James. I would swear, James. You get, you get me <laughs> up, man. You can say whatever you like on my channel. I would swear. Mate. I was no going to say, well, they're all fucking... They're all haters, really. You know, hate, hating on me. I, I haven't done anything. I've... I've I'm, at the end of the day, I'm British champion, I'm, I'm number one. I was ready to prepare to, to, to fight Travis again. I've already fought him once, I already beat him clearly and comfortably. You know, I bashed him up the first time, so it was going to be the same outcome again today, even if, if, he, if he had come. And so all these, all these uh, Mackhams or wherever, the, wherever they're from, they need, they need to, you know what I mean, calm down and shut up because, you know, they, they don't, they just hype, they're just hyping it, chatting shit. Forgive me, but I've got to ask you this. With you pulling out the first time and the fight being rescheduled, do you do you think it was right that the fight went ahead without Travis Dickinson? Yeah, because I didn't, I, I didn't technically I didn't pull out James. I had a, I had an injury, and the fight was just rescheduled for a couple of weeks later. I mean, it was four weeks, I believe, or four or five weeks. So four weeks. You know later. what I mean? I put, I didn't, I, I, I was injured. So obviously I'm a British champion. I need to go into fights 100. percent I'm not going to go in into title fights not 100. percent I want to be 100 percent when I go in the ring. So I had a slight, I had an injury. I had to got got some physio and and everything else and, 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 and recovered from it. And then the fight was rescheduled. The fight was on as far as I'm concerned. He, Travis knew the fight was on. He was, he was tweeting saying the fight was on. He can't wait to get in there and all the rest of this bullshit. So he knew, the, he knew the fight was on. So for him to do the sly chicken chamber like a day before, so we can't find a you know, replacement or something, that's what, that's what his, that's what his comes try to do. You know, but, so they, 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 their theory doesn't really stand because you know, I was here ready. I was ready. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you know you've got to understand Channel Five and, and Max Nutrition they've got a, they've got dates to fulfil. They, they need they need to get the show on the road. They need to keep it moving. They mm -hmm. can't keep stalling out, stalling out. It's meant to be a six month competition. The final was meant to take place back in September, wasn't it? It was indeed. It was indeed. Now looking ahead, the EBU title, Egon McKay. I hope I pronounced that right. Would that be a fight you'd be looking now, looking to try and make? For your yeah, team? yeah, that's it, definitely, James. Um, looking to either yeah get a fight with him. I uh, also looking at other you know fighters around the European, well I'd say uh, world world interim title level, trying to trying to uh, get hold of one of them belts to, to push into the the, the main organisation rankings top ten, mm -hmm. and then we can force a fight with one of the one of the, one of the belt holders. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're looking looking to do now. Early, early 2015. Early 2015, we could yeah, be man. looking at the new EBU. Yeah, champion. EBU yeah. champion as well. Add add that as well to the rest of the straps. Mm. You know, or, you know, because I think domestically, I've I've clearly I've proven I'm the best domestically. There's nothing really for me to uh, hang around for, really. Mm. Do you think now, as I said, now you, you're dead set on moving up now? Do you think you may even vacate the British? Uh, it's a po yeah, maybe yeah, it's a possibility, Jim. I have to see. I'll have to you know assess the uh, assess my options and then you know I'll, I'll take it from there. Mm -hmm. Didn't do AC, but yeah, I'd say more or less I'm moving on now because I've, I've, I've you know, I proved I'm number one domestically, mm -hmm. and that's what I need to keep it. I need to keep, I want to progress and you know go, keep it moving now. Now I've got um, keep the momentum going from this and just you know keep going and going and keep and stay busy, stay busy next year. But have some bigger fights. How much do you credit Dominic Ingle, John Ingle, and the team at the Ingles, the Ingle Gym? Yeah, to definitely. I've got to give, give, I've got to give a lot of credit to both of them. You know, they're both. Um, you know, good good people, and you know they've uh, you know steered me steered me in the right in, down the right path. And he said to me, he always said to me, starting out, um, 
you know, we you know, we get things moving. I have to wait around. You see a lot of people forget yeah. that I have to wait a year before I fought Dean Fans, I have to wait a year to fight for my British title. You know what I mean? I was man I was managing time, for a year. Yeah. So I probably wouldn't be here now, you know, in probably I wouldn't I wouldn't be here now in this position, I probably moved moved on long gone. And that's what people keep saying, Oh well you know, are we all cut Bob Alcon been, you know, as active it what it wasn't my fault. I was, you know, kept out for a while, but now I'm keeping it moving and keeping the momentum got going. The momentum. So, yeah, I've got the momentum now, so I'm gonna keep going and going, going and going, keep fighting regularly, staying active. That's oh. the main, main uh, aim for me. How much does it mean to you to win this match nutrition tournament? Add this. Yeah, it's wicked. Team, it's wicked, man. I've got, that, I've got, that, I've got that, I've got that uh, bad boy trophy now as well. Can you just pick I mean, the trophy? Right, I've got that. I've got that. I've got that. I've got that. Yeah, it's, it's some, it's some trophy, you know. Some. Uh, it looks heavy. It's sick. You know what I mean, so to put that in my, in my house. Along with my, you know, belts and all that. It's a good, it's a big thing because this is recognised. Speaking to Albert, Al Bernstein yesterday, mm. at a meeting with him. I'm not sure whether I've been a boxing channel or not, but um, this will be recognised. It'll be recognised, you know, the USA because it crosses over. It'll be, it'll be recognised, you know, on a, on a, you know, near enough on a world stage, of, you know, being a, being a, being a match nutrition winner as well, because that's that, that's giving me more leverage for, for bigger fights. Mm. Last question. Prediction for Hopkins Kovalev. I know you're going to be out of here. I can't wait to Gana see that, man. Fight, man. Can't wait to see that. I've got a, I've got a back B Hop because all the admiration that I've got for him. I just think he's, you know, his style is too slick. He's just, he's got, he's, he knows, he knows every, every, every aspect covered. You know, he's got all the experience. He's been there before. You know, Kelly Pavlik, um, Tito Trinidad. Um, he also, you know, he, what he did to that student, I'll be giving him a, give a boxing lesson to him. Um, Kovalev's one of the most fierce, fierce punches in in the lightweight in 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 uh, in, in world boxing period. Mm -hmm. But I just think I just think that you know that is is a his meticulous preparation and his and his uh, ring craft and and savvy will be will be uh, will will come out will prevail. Do you dream of fighting these kind of fighters? These kind yeah, of definitely. Guys yeah, that's what I mean, these fighters. are guys I, I look I used to look up. Well, I've always looked up to, especially Bernard Hopkins, and people like that. You know, <laughs> still around and the start what they've come from. They've come from like. They've come from. He's come from like Philly, you know, the, the ghetto in, in Philly, and 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 come up that way with, you know, the tough and fought everyone, come out of jail, and then fought everyone, and stayed on top, always stayed on top, always lived his life, but always on, always walks around the way, you know, lives a life properly, and he's a businessman outside. He, you know, his partner with Golden Boy with Oscar De La Hoya. He runs, he runs, he runs Golden Boy as well, and all these other fighters as well. There's, there's big fighters, you know, that are Donnie Stevenson, you know, another a big, dangerous, big, massive, big puncher as well. But I'll just work my way to that level. I don't want to run before, before, before I walk. I want to work my way up to that level, and then in, a, in you know, in a year or two down the line, they're the fights I'll be looking at. Just I'll be looking at. Fifty-two-year-old B hop versus Bob Adjusser. Oh, <laughs> that'd be some fight, that James, <laughs> wouldn't it, man? What a fight that'd be! Yeah, fantastic. Uh, let, let B hop put all these linear titles on the line, and I'll come up. I'll come up and take and swoop him. That'd be the one, wouldn't it? <laughs> It'd be the one. Listen, I'm not going to take up too much of your time. Enjoy the boxing tonight. Congratulations on the great win. Well done on winning yeah. the tournament. Thanks a lot. Enjoy your success. Appreciate mate. it. Thanks, Thank you very Thanks, much. James. Cheers.